very good morning friends as you know i had made the video of uh, i mean the complete package of iso 27001 and now i i have started uh, the series of risk management and uh, how to calculate the risk of an organization and many uh, other stuffs i had uh, uh, published uh, in my last video so uh, this is the um, the details or i can say the continued version of the last video so uh, here are the most questions uh, where the interviewer uh, will ask may uh, may probably be asked to you so uh, question number one what is the criteria of moderate incident that means uh, if any incident uh, get happened then how will you classify that in incident that uh, that particular is uh, falls under uh, the moderate one so here is the un answer let me select the uh, laser pointer here yeah if any incident occurs and 50 to 60 percent part of the applications were down but zero business slots because services shifts to the secondary data center such a uh, classification or such impact will falls under the moderate in incidents for example um, i am working in an org organization and um, and uh, uh, multiple applications were uh, uh, comes under the revenue part and a uh, few of the applications were down or i can say the, uh, uh, the 50 or 60 percent part of the applications were down since we have the multiple data centers or i can say the primary one or the secondary one so automatically if the applications goes down and the revenue comes in loss that means the services will automatically be shifted to the secondary data center so such incidents comes under the moderate one so uh, in this case what actually happens incident response team to provide the solution for this yeah team has to keep the solution in the kedb that is knowledge error database so that in future if same incident repeat they will quickly refer and fix the incident this is also called the incident tracker so we always made the uh, and uh, k KEDB that is known as the knowledge error database. So uh, every incidents we should keep in a track in that particular KEDB. So so that in case uh, of any future incident would get happen, so we can extract the solutions from the knowledge error database so that the impact time will be less. Here is the second question. What is the criteria of high one? That is high incident. So um, the moderate one and the high one are approximately same but the downtime were increased in the high one for example if if any in, in incident occur and 60 to 90 percent of the applications were down and partial loss of the business revenue for example um if any applications goes down in any organization and the shifting of uh, services from primary one to secondary one will get time so in that particular meantime our some of the revenue will get lost and 60 to 90 percent part of the applications were already down in the primary data center so such kind of incident falls in the high one so in this case also incident response team to provide the solutions yes uh, team has to keep the solutions in the knowledge error database so that in future if same incident repeat they will quickly refer and fix the incident the this is also called the ins incident tracker yes next one is what is the criteria of a critical one if, if any ins, incident occurs and approximately all the applications were down and fully loss of the business revenue it also includes the impact of the brand incident response team to provide the solution team has to keep the solution in kedb knowledge error uh, db so that in future if same incident would get repeated they will quickly uh, refer and fix uh, the incident this is also called the tracker of incidents okay Question number one is very, very important. What is strategy you provide to avoid the risk? For example, multiple risk, you know, uh, always happen in the organization. So uh, interviewer may ask that what will you suggest to provide a solution to avoid the risk? So uh, as an experienced person, you have to ask that, sir, we have to recommend to implement the uh, business continuity 
and the disaster recovery so that the services will shift on this in case of any major incident and periodically review of health checkup of the organization this question number four is very very important important uh, i had faced multiple times that this question is asked, asked from the inter interview side come to the next one yes this is the most frequently asked uh, how, however question number five will also uh, check uh, checks your uh, uh, i mean the logical uh, logical one uh, question number five what are the methods to keep the organization healthy yes because if our orga or organization becomes healthy then there will be uh, will be a less chances of downtime of the applications or your organization and the uh, non downtime status of your organization will uh, goes high and 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 the trust of the clients will automatically increases exponentially so we should keep the routine checkup for the following number one all server health checkups yes all uh, all servers means uh, the particular utilization that uh, how much uh, applications is utilizing the RAM or something any uh, any kind of error does the system is throwing so these are the general health uh, health checkups from the server side number two all network devices checkup yes same uh, all security devices and servers health checkup under the security devices like the antiviruses or dlp or uh, ips so uh, we have to check uh, and review the regular of the policies that uh, what are the errors does uh, such devices are throwing to us and apart from this we have always be in touch uh, with the oem that is or original equipment menu uh, factor uh, factored so that uh, if any kind of update uh, or uh, zero day attack uh, comes from the OEM side so so uh, so that we can implement in our devices with approvals next is review BCP and DR policies periodically yes this is this is the uh, uh, main BCP and DR policies so that our uh, downtime will get reduced number five monitor the traffic through monitoring tool like arc site and queue radar etc so whatever be the traffic coming from uh, the external world uh, and for the internal also because in in house attack is more dangerous from the external one so uh, so monitoring of the traffic through monitoring tool is very very important for this uh, next is data center servers and network dressing should be in uh, place and ac temperature should be maintained so number 6 is also imp important because if uh, because if our dressings of the data center is in well mannered then there uh, will be a less chances of sparking or uh, uh, i mean uh, uh, from the uh, unusual uh, downtime of the data centers as well and the ac temperature should be maintained because if we talk about the data centers then the temperatures uh, uh, is an important role in terms uh, to keep the ment uh, to keep the temperature of the data center so uh, these are the certain questions and uh, uh, thanks for watching uh, kindly subscribe and, and hit the bell icons and if you have any kind of queries you can uh, mention in the chat box thank you